feels my grief and he offers me mercy and grace when I need it most. I'm so grateful that God turns my hurts into holiness, that Jesus took all of my sin on the cross, and that Jesus feels my grief and he offers me mercy and grace when I need it most. Here's another one of those little pictures that Isaiah paints for us in chapter 53. This time it's verse 3. And I'll just say Jesus again. Listen to this. Jesus was despised. Have you ever felt despised by other people? Look down on. Not, not, you, didn't, you weren't good enough. You didn't measure up. You weren't the in group. Jesus was rejected. You ever felt overlooked and rejected? Maybe because of where you came from or something in your life or whatever reason? Jesus has been there. He's felt all of it. He was despised and rejected by mankind. He was a man of suffering and he was familiar with pain. Friends, Jesus feels our grief. It's one of the beautiful differences between Christianity and every other religious system. Christianity is the only faith in the world that proclaims that the living God put on flesh and lived among us and felt our pain. Walked in our shoes. This is what, this is what Hebrews 4 verses 15 and 16 uh, teaches us and it's so beautiful. For we do not have a high priest and I always like to kind of write beside the word high priest a savior. One who interceded for us, right? We do not have a Savior who is unable to empathize. Empathy and sympathy are different things, remember. Sympathy is, oh, I feel bad for you, but I don't have a clue what you're feeling because I've never been there. Empathy is, I have been there and I feel your pain. We don't have a Savior who's unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are. He's walked in our shoes, and yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Christ feels your pain, your grief, and he offers mercy to all who Follow Him as Lord and Savior. You can come right into the throne room today. I don't know what you're facing, what you're dealing with, but God wants to restore your soul and you can come and receive mercy and grace.